What are you doing inside my gene hole, audience? Good God. That thing is getting big. <laughs> Welcome back to the Roundtable, I am Nemo, and Infinity Train is finally upon us after years of waiting. Although it looks like not for long. That's right, not to freak anybody out, but there has been some scuttlebutt going around that Infinity Train is only going to be one season long. Did I say scuttlebutt? <laughs> is scuttlebutt a word? And as sad as this may be, we should look at it and assess the evidence and come to our own conclusion. Because that's, that's what scientists do. We're smart. So this whole news comes from Owen Dennis on Twitter and Cartoon Network themselves. When the trailer dropped, Cartoon Network pitched it as a five night event, which made people wonder, okay, wait, is there gonna be five episodes and then a gap before the next couple? There's gonna be more, right? But just 13 hours ago, as of recording this, Owen Dennis said, Infinity Train is 10 episodes, two episodes a night for five nights, starting August 5th. It was designed to be watched as two episodes every night for five nights, because that's what Cartoon Network did for Over the Garden Wall, so we thought it might work that way with us too. It flows well this way, I like it. He goes on to say, it's okay, it was designed to be this way. They asked how we wanted to do this show, and this is what we wanted. That's Part of the reason they gave us so much freedom to do whatever we wanted to do and why we were able to drill so hard into the emotional core of the show so fast. This news, along with the comparison to Over the Garden Wall, made Infinity Train out to be just another mini-series for Cartoon Network and not the full-length series that we all thought it was going to be. People were rallying behind this show like they would have seasons worth of episodes to consume and very quickly, people started having mixed reactions to this conflicting news. Some people were supportive, some people were upset. I personally feel like anything that takes a note out of Over the Garden Wall's book is doing so something right because that show is in a league of its own. But I can't lie and say I'm not a little disappointed that this show is going to just be 10 episodes, a mini series that airs in five days. It's a little unsatisfying because we've been waiting for so long. And while I have so much respect for the creators and the team that works on it and I trust their vision, I'm still a little sad that we're not going to be able to get more of this show. Or are we? Play that conspiracy music. Yeah, there we go. Guys, I have reasons to believe that Infinity Train is not just 10 episodes and that they're already working on a season two despite this new information. Let me break this down so I don't sound absolutely crazy, and it all starts with Cartoon Network themselves. This may be a long shot, okay, but a few months ago, they released a number facts video on Infinity Train. At a specific part in this video, they show an animatic next to the pilot, and the animatic said season one. Take this with a grain of salt, but why would it say season one if that was the entire series? Why wouldn't it just say series? You know what I mean? The number one implies that there's going to be another season, that's why they have to distinct it with that specific number. And I know at this point, this all seems like semantics, but we have to really look at everything here and use our theory brains because I don't want this show to be 10 episodes. But we have some other evidence that's a little stronger. Every couple of months there's this thing called the work around town where somebody with apparent insider's knowledge, a veteran of the industry, gives some quote unquote insider information on what's going on inside of the cartoon industry. And like I've been saying, take this all with a grain of salt, but back in February they mentioned something about Infinity Train waiting for Greenlit on season 2. Now this isn't some unverified source, they have been right before and even some some of the information in this very release is true. This isn't a silver bullet by any means, but it makes us think, you know, why would they have information at all about them pitching a season two if this was always meant as a miniseries? But let's talk about that term for a second, miniseries, because no one officially working on the show has ever called it that. Cartoon never called it a five night special event, but Over the Garden Wall from Inception was very much labeled a miniseries. Cut to Infinity Train and that term has never been used to describe it, not even by the show's creator. And in Interestingly enough, when people asked him if it was going to be one season, that's when he stopped responding. I'm not trying to put words in his mouth, okay? Like, we're all being crackpot theorists out here. He's entitled to his privacy, but you know what I mean? We could be grasping at straws with these three pieces of evidence, or we could be uncovering the truth. But why would they hide another season of this show? Why would they make this fan base think there's only one limited run? Why would they torture us like that? Well, we have a few theories on that too. Infinity Train could be some sort of anthology series where every season's a different character on the train. Then maybe they all learn a lesson. Maybe Maybe this is just Tulip's series, Tulip season. Maybe there's going to be some twist ending at the end of Infinity Train and they'll be like, haha, I guess you'll have to wait till next season. And they're just trying to give us a nice surprise. Maybe they're just trying to keep it as much of a mystery as possible because that's what the show is, a great mystery. It's always been mysterious. And the more we theorize, the more we talk about the show. The fact that I'm making this video is actually really smart because their lack of information on the subject is the reason. Maybe Cartoon Network understands the name of this game more than we think. So is Infinity Train going to be just a 10 episode miniseries? Or maybe 
maybe Cartoon Network isn't telling us something, and we'll all find out very soon when the episodes start airing August 5th. Or maybe we're just crazy. We're probably just crazy. Take this all with a grain of salt, okay? I'm the last person to ever admit that I'm right. But it's fun to theorize about, and I need any hope. But regardless, I want to know what all of you think. Do you think this is going to be just 10 episodes? Do you think they're bamboozling us? Let us know in those comments down below or tweet to us at Roundtable Vids or me at Stretch Our Nemo. As always, if you want to consider helping out the Roundtable, you can support us on Patreon or become a member of the channel and get exclusive access to scripts and avatars. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more incredible cartoon content like this, guys. I'm Nemo. It's a cartoon news theory video thingy, and I'll see you next time. Peace.